Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Astro Colony. Let's see, last episode we finished our automation of polymer production. We've got a little bit slowly accumulating and we saw that the wood here is the bottleneck. We may address that at some point later on, um, but that's clearly slowing, every <laughs> slowing everything down. Uh, and then we also were waiting on ice to actually make its way down here too. Let's just uh, make, uh, take a look up top and make sure there's not something that's blocking the ice. I don't think there is. We have ice. We've got ice in here. It's just we've got a bunch of carbon, I guess, to empty out. And that happens to be coming off first. Oh, there's some ice. Um, Is this belt moving? Yeah. So we'll get to that. But this episode, I want to do something different. Take a break from building out the factory. I want to try something new. So between episodes, I drove around a bit looking for a little planetoid, a mini planetoid. I built a cool new spaceship and landed it here, moved the station and lost my ship. I have no idea where it is, so we'll have to make another one or something. But I did manage to get us close to a planetoid. And you'll notice this new little planetoid is located right above our new planet that we want to mine. And what I'm wondering, what I want to experiment with is can we build a mobile reusable mining platform that we just hover over the surface of a planet and then collect up all the ore and then, and then uh, dock to the station or something to offload the ore but then have this reusable mining platform. So this is just a big, ugly rock right now, but I'm hoping that we can actually put rockets on this thing and make a platform off of it. Let's dive in and see if we can even do this kind of thing. It may be just a, an experiment in futility. It may not work at all. <laughs> That's not what I want. Um, but let's see if we can get a structure here, maybe put a colony block down and, uh, and see if we can't mine the planet with this. It looks like we're like this. So I want to just build a platform, basically. And the first test is going to be, can we put um, some miners here to get rid of this noise? Put some mining drones on this platform and then lower it close enough to the surface. And will they mine? They may not. It may The game may prevent that from happening. So let's just try it. Let's try it. Uh, we're just going to pilot this so we don't really care too much about how it looks. Um, I forgot how much power these guys need. How much power do you need? Four. Two. Four. And now I need a robot manufacturer here so we can get drones. And I'm missing some kind of ingredient. What do I need? Cement? What is that? I can't even tell what that is. Um, looks like cement. Let's see if we can get some of that made. Nope, it's none of that. What is that little thing? Here, <clears throat> concrete. We need stone plates. Do we have some? We do. We get a bunch. Let's just put it in inventory and um, we'll be good to go. Back up to the planetoid. We're obviously going to have to navigate this thing lower. This would be cool, man. If this could work, uh, not remote fabricator. I want this guy. Boom. Uh, you're going to need power as well. Probably more. What do you need? Six. Not what I wanted.
Again, this is all throwaway. We're just experimenting here. We want miners, two of them. And we need to provide some stuff here. Turn that off so we don't get distracted. We need, what, 12 iron, eight hydrogen. And then while that's assembling, let's uh, navigate to the, be hovering right over the planet. Close as we can get. Trying to position myself in a way we can actually see. How's that? We're within mining bot range, right? So if it's going to work, it would work. And <laughs> this may not work. Um, what do we have on this planet? Probably everything, right? Let's just pick one and then we'll go look. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Shoot. There's still something we could do. There's still something we could do with this. Uh, let's take a look at the planet real quick. Make sure it's a monster planet. That's this guy. Okay. Martina prime. We've got carbon, iron, bunch of stuff, right? Okay, that clearly is not working. We're close enough for mining drone to actually get that carbon, right? Just to make sure, I'm going to get a little bit closer. Yeah, we're super close. Nothing's happening, right? Okay, next attempt. is just dock to the planetoid. So let's, uh, let's do that. Find a place to put down some platform here. And these. Yeah, just experimenting to see if this is a thing we could do. Um, first to me, this is a bad spot, right? Uh, let's see. Now I'm curious if the mining drones will be happy. Oh, they won't. They won't do it. That I was hoping would do it. Oh, man. It doesn't look like it's going to work. Yeah, I was hoping we could have like a mobile reusable mining platform that we could just attach or hover over a planet so we don't have to keep rebuilding the mining drills. But it doesn't look like there's a way to do that, at least not yet. Man, that would be cool if we could. Don't think there's a way. Um, the last thing I could... Yeah, no, I don't think there's going to be a way to do it. Oh, bummer. That would have been so cool. Because we could have built like a separate station. Or had a couple of them. Mine the planet, then disconnect or move off it. Dock to our station to unload while we go navigate to some other planetoid. Then we could keep reusing our mining setup. Oh man, that's a bummer. I thought for sure this would work. But it does not. <laughs> the next thing we could try 
Just for fun while we're doing this. Just for fun while we're doing this. What if I had a platform that had a bunch of big drills on it? <laughs> so let's uh try that. This goes, this goes. All this goes. Curious, will this thing reach through and actually um, mine below it? Let's get rid of this big rock in case this is an issue. Shouldn't be. I have a feeling this is not going to work either. I imagine all the mining devices need to be attached to the planet that they're actually uh, mining from. But just for fun, we can try it. Um, maybe I can borrow the power off of this guy. Sure, he's not using it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. But let's try it anyway. Fun. Do it. Let's Mush into the planet. Let's just see. No, yeah, it's not gonna work. Has power, right? Uh no, it needs a little bit more. Don't think that's the issue, unfortunately. I wish it was. Yeah, it doesn't want to drill because it does not detect ore on the planet that it's on. Boy, I was hoping if even if that worked, you could set up a huge platform with just these drills. And Mine a planet into nothing. Oh man, a little bit of a letdown. Maybe I'll suggest that in the Discord. Uh, when this video posts, maybe I'll link it into the Discord and show them the little experiments we did. But too bad. Man, that would have been cool. But we'll abandon that. Let's get back to the station and see what else we can do. I want to look in the tech tree. We definitely have more stuff to automate. This planet is just about. Done. Um, it's hard to see. It is. Where is that planet? Sorry, void. Yeah, that's the one. This is our new one, Martina Prime. It's huge, at least on the map. Nuki Land is the, uh, a little planetoid. We're gonna just move off of that. I'll scrap the resources that are attached to it and we'll get that thing out of here because there's nothing there for us. We'll have to set up new mining platforms along here. Maybe do, we'll see. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that here. So yeah, we're looking at how many resources are left over there. That's our main planetoid. We are mining that out. It's getting lower. Trying to get down to here. This guy right there. Valsari Void. Aluminum left, gold, and carbon. Let's go see where that gold is, because maybe it's out of reach of the miners. There's carbon. Looks like the drones are making their way there and picking up ore with them, so that's good. This guy is not picking up ore. So these drones are having a hard time mining this deposit. Uh, take it back. That one just lifted off some. Let's do a scan. Do we have any really big deposits left on this? Rock? Doesn't look like it. It looks like our drones have been able to get to where they need to go. Yeah, I don't see. There's one big chunk of gold in there. Hmm. We try and get to that. That may not be reachable.
This could take forever, right? Let's, uh... It. Can I burrow around it? Digging is being particular. Maybe strip my way to it. There's a tunnel right next to it. Maybe they are getting that. Yeah, he's taking it. But maybe we're maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Just let that run. All right, back to the station and let's look at the tech tree. We did unlock some things last episode that we haven't even used or looked at yet. Van smelting, that's all done. Transport tubes, we haven't really made use of those. We got some decorations we haven't done. Advanced docking, still, I'm guessing it gets us better throughput. Plasma thrusters, that. Those are the ones we have, I think, now. Control panel, electronic panel. Mail preparation, preparation sign. Done. There's forestry. We saw it's a little slow. We haven't messed with the ranching yet. We could do that. Signal blocks. I can unlock them. I'm not super into bothering with that. Uh, space mapping. This sounds kind of interesting. Radar. We need to make something we don't have. Computers. We we can make these. Let's get this put down. The radar. I need two computers. Do we have computers? I feel like I've made those for something. Uh, where might you be? There's computers. Uh, let's... Do we have some? Yeah, we've got 20. Take them into inventory and see if we can place that radar. Um... I keep saying I'm going to clean up this area of the station, and I do not ever do it. Let's look for it. Ooh, these look cool. Energy transmitter, energy receiver. I wonder if this is new. That looks new. Electric battery, nuclear reactor, we haven't done yet either. Uh, we don't have the graphene going. Or, I mean, the, uh, yeah, graphene. I don't think we're making that just yet. We're set up to is here it is radar radar is used to discover threats nearby let's place it hmm what does this thing take oh kind of cool Radar scan takes golden wire and titanium rods. So let's do it. Let's just see what this is all about. Got gold wire on me. I don't think I have titanium rods, but we did save some of those off. Uh, I may actually just swipe them from here. We've got a gajillion. Keep some of those in my inventory. And I think I got... I think I have gold wire. I must, right? Because I keep putting down solar panels. Let's put some of this down. That in there. Titanium rods. Uh, what's going on here? And go. Radar scan. What did it tell us? Anything? Did it scan already? Did 
Okay, we're hitting our scan infinite. Oh, we need a specialist in here. We need an engineer. Um, hmm. I guess we could bring an astronaut on board. <laughs> All astronauts. Uh, I need to supply a couple gold bars. One astronaut. Okay, 142 seconds. Guessing they're coming. We'll see if we can train up an engineer to work the uh, satellite dish here, radar. 120 seconds while we're waiting on that. Let's look at tech tree. Actually, once he gets here, how do we train them? Been a while. Engineer. And I think they do their own thing here, right? Eighty-eight seconds. Let's look at the tech tree real quick. We got more farming, arithmetic blocks, communication signal receiver. That's kind of cool. High tech science. That's where we got the polymer from, I believe. What? Science. Oh, this is, we need to produce high tech science. What for though? Is there anything that uses it yet? Doesn't look like it. Right, high tech science, we don't have any. Um, we definitely need to look at this black hole thing, too. We have not done that. All right, how much longer? 30 seconds. Advanced transport tubes, cultivation. We haven't really bothered with the farming. Separating Stargate fusion energy. What about nuclear energy? That may be something we want to try. Nuclear reactor. Two seconds. Are we going to get somebody? Here we go. So welcome aboard, engineer. You're here to work the radar station, but first, you need to train up. Swagger, look at that swagger. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. Let's uh, follow this guy down. Hopefully he hits the study area right away. It looks like he's heading straight there. And on a DVD. Sixty seconds. He'll be a trainee. That's a pretty good model actually in there. All right. few seconds left then he should go study but he might go for rest and eat in between let's look at the nuclear power and we might have room let's see
Let's place it down first and just see what it's about. Uh, where might you be? Uh, looks like I need that graphene. We have that yet. Now we're still waiting on aluminum plates, right? To produce graphene. None of it's been produced. We don't have aluminum. How we sent aluminum through here. We did. It's just all these other plates are taking up time. Let's... Launch here. I'm gonna grab them. We'll do this manually. We got a throughput issue with their setup. All right, here comes the graphene. That's gonna help us build the nuclear plant. How's our little guy doing? I think he. I'm not sure which one he is. His outfit may have changed. He at the station already. He is. He's scanning away. That was quick. I have no idea what we're going to see. Oh, there we go. Look at the new icon up there. Got like a meteor shower icon up there. We've got black hole there. We've got... I don't know. Oh, does it tell us? Nope. We're starting to see more threats, black holes, but the black hole, we may want to go to and try out our new technology. Are we moving? We just moved, disappeared off the map. Oh, maybe the scan is over. Yeah, he's done. Hmm. How do we make use of that? Is it on the map at all? No, I don't see the threats. Looking here over on the left. Thing here that's interesting. Doesn't, don't see the threats there. They were popping up while the engineer was in here. We'll see when he gets back, but, um, all right, let's get back to nuclear. There's our graphene, let's take it. See if we can build that nuclear plant, power plant. Uranium rods is it. That's all we need. We get electricity out of it. Just so happen to have a bunch on me. Let's take it. Just see what this guy puts out. 40. <laughs> Seems like it should be more than 40. Let's do it. Let's hook it up to the network. Temporarily. Actually, it would hook up right there, so we don't need this. So we've got power cables right behind here. And I guess that's producing, yeah, it looks like it's producing power for us. It gets us 40 electricity. I guess that's not bad, right? That's not bad. Uh, our power network, we're using 304 out of 374 capacity. So we're at 81% network load. Hmm. Solar is probably a little overpowered, right? Or a lot overpowered. It seems like this should either cost a lot more or not really produce much. I'm missing a floor tile here.
All right, do we have our threats? We do. What can I do with these if I want to go to a black hole? All right, let's build the remote fabricator. I have a feeling maybe that is how we build the, the portal. Let's try it. Let's try it. Hmm. I'm making a mess of my station. Let's make it here. And see what it's all about. How big? It's not that big. Maybe... Let's do it here. Just to try it out. We'll see what this thing is all about. Stick with the same style of wiring we've been using. Wire underneath. All right, what can you do for us? We must have to get near a black hole with this thing, right? That's what it says on the right. Select a black hole. Okay, select black hole. That's what I clicked on. What will you do? We need three fabricator blocks, and then I need to select or three fabricator robots. Let's see if I can make those. Fabricator right here. We're going to need 12 computers for this. Uh, let's see if I have, what do I have left? I have 18. Let's do it. We need, yeah, 12. And there they go. The fabricators are getting built. Now we may need to go navigate near a black hole, right? And then this thing maybe is going to build our, build our gate. This guy, the Stargate. Hmm. Can we navigate towards a black hole? Our dude is working the radar. Uh, he chewed through all the gold wire. Give him some more. We've got a bunch. Boom and titanium rods. And I think we want to navigate somewhat close to the black hole and then target it with the, uh, this dude right here, the remote fabricator. All right. I've navigated us close to the black hole. Hopefully we won't get sucked in. And it looks like our remote fabricator is looking for Looking for graphene and polymer. So let's give it. We should have some now. Boom and boom. Okay, we'll pop that in. Let's see if that does anything. Stargate. No idea what that just did. Uh, uh, let's see. Die cold. Did we lose it again? I think we did. One issue we're having is this station. Uh, the radar is too far away from our astronauts. Let's move this. to where the astronauts are. At least where they are more often. How about up here? Okay, back to selecting the black hole. Boom, trying to. 
What? Oh, did it send somebody off? There it goes. There it goes. Got a drone heading over there. That's a good sign. Okay, Stargate 1 of 8. We've got three fabricators, so maybe they're doing their thing over there. Yeah, there they are. There's three of them. I feel like we should navigate a little bit further south or down a tiny bit, but I'm not sure I want to mess with it while they're constructing. Got to think those drones are doing the construction right now, so that is kind of cool. I don't see progress indicated. Oh, wait, there it is. This bar is moving forward. Keep an eye on things here and see what's happening. While we're waiting for that to happen, I can uh, satisfy a bot. <laughs> the tutorial that's been on the left side of the screen for 100 episodes. I think I just need to place a canteen to, uh, to make a bot happy. I see. So it's going to take a bit of time. Uh, let's see. We need at least six more, 12. Yeah, we should be plenty good as far as parts go. Let's see what Abot wants. If Abot is happy, hiding in the rocks here. Are you happy, Abot? Apparently, I don't see any tutorial messages. Yeah, I'm wondering if it makes sense to have two radars and more, um, more engineers. Let's, let's bring one more engineer on board just to see if they man this thing more frequently. We have two. Not sure we, we, if that's how it works, but we'll try it. We call them up just in time. Here they come. Let's set up the training here for another engineer. Here's our new engineer. Down the stairs. I definitely like the stairs like that better. Our mining operation has come to a screeching halt. Looks like this is going to take some time. Tell you what, why don't we end the episode here? Um, between episodes, I may start setting up some mining on this giant planet here. We'll probably do a similar approach, but maybe I'll stretch out or spread out the mining drills a little bit more so they can cover the planet better. Yeah, let's wrap it here. In the next episode, we will come back and see just what it means to install the Stargate. But that's going to take a little bit of time. For now, this is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on Astro Colony. Thanks to everybody that has been giving the videos a thumbs up and providing useful suggestions. I should mention I'm recording this video as episode, I think, 25 or 26 is posted. So I haven't seen comments from the last few episodes as I'm recording this. So I apologize if you've Suggested something and I haven't reacted to it yet, but I read each and every one. I appreciate it and I will see you all in the next episode.